Welcome to KTSA News Station. Here we are with Kathy, Trisha, Sarah, and Annie to help us learn about McDonald's around the world. Tonight we will be following the voyage of four friends that are traveling to McDonald's around the world. That's right, Sarah. You could even say we're exploring the big world. You could, but we won't. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, let's jump right in. First up, let's have our correspondence from Ireland. Ireland, the land of shamrocks, beer, and a work-to-live attitude, sees McDonald's as the perfect outlet for promoting local products. From a welcoming atmosphere to local meats and milk, McDonald's Ireland represents the friendly nature of the people as well as their love for all things green. Well, McDonald's in Ireland is run and managed by Irish people. So, although it's a, a global brand, there are Irish people attached to that brand who are making it as Irish as we can for the local economy. Irish people want to be reassured that the quality of the food we preserve is of the highest quality, so we only use board beer approved quality Irish beef in our restaurants. We try to use as much Irish produce as we can. Uh, the same will be from the milk, it's a local supplier. It's economically cheaper to, support, to, uh, to get it locally. It's a economic tool and a quality assurance tool as well as a marketing tool. But the most important thing is the quality of the food we serve and the insurance that is of the best and the highest standard possible. Irish pride is reflected in a McDonald's focus on Irish made products. The purchase of local beef and milk helps boost the local economy. In a country where a warm smile is never too far off, McDonald's Ireland fits right into the culture of solidarity and that small town feeling. Did you see that, Sarah? 100% Irish beef and 100% Irish milk. I wouldn't mind a quick trip to Ireland right about now. I could show you that shamrock shake. What was that? Oh, nothing. All right, let's get back to our next location. So, from what we've seen so far, McDonald's tries to fit into the environment. Let's see what if this holds true in our next country, Belgium. Belgium is the meeting point of several European languages. Latin based on one side and Germanic on the other. This explains why its McDonald's menus are written in multiple languages. Don't see like a big M, it's just small. Trisha, we're on the air. What? I got hungry. Let's go to McDonald's. Oh, we're on the air. Today we're taking you to London, but also to the lesser known town of Southampton which is located in the south of England. A McDonald's here is just a stone throw away from the port entrance. Now I think everyone knows that McDonald's is American. Wait, we know that McDonald's is an American company, but does that mean it's only American? Let's see what our expert Sergio Carvalho has to say about it. 
McDonald's in the exception of being well. McDonald's is uh, what we consider the global company. The difference between uh, being just a multinational company and a global company. A multinational company is a company that expanded, but they did expand it into the different markets. So they don't see those markets as integrated into a single global market. This have, they have this global approach and they localize some of the strategies, but they do have an overall global strategy. In other words, Sergio is telling us that McDonald's has been successful as a global corporation because it adapts to the individual markets around the world. By giving the people what they want and what they know, McDonald's has risen to one of the world's leading globalized companies. Alright, so our next stop is Cape Town, South Africa. Modern day South Africa, just 18 years after the end of apartheid, has taken quickly to the international franchise of McDonald's. Its open environment, quick service, and clean dining facilities make it an appealing option for everyone. I feel like I put some extra cash, then I would go to McDonald's because uh, compared to other restaurants, the prices are very affordable. But according to where I eat, the township is still expensive. It's really, it's really fast service, very, very quick, like that. We see a lot of people in the, from the township. When they come from up to north, when they walk, they walk like this, where everyone can see. The middle class of the township is growing very fast. We live in like five, ten years to come. Lots of businesses will come to the township. It's one place I go to, to sit down and follow my kids, and they have toys, and they have a place, place to play around while I'm enjoying my food. Sarah, guess who I'm trying to be? Argentina is the Spanish-speaking heart of tango, beef, and complicated politics. McDonald's here caters to diverse tastes and, since Argentina contains the largest population of Jews in Latin America, it even has the only kosher McDonald's in the world outside of Israel. Let's see what this Argentinian has to say about McDonald's. The food at McDonald's is good. It's fast food, it's tasty, and it has a special taste that you can't get in your house or in a restaurant. The majority of the people don't go to McDonald's because they like their other customs and traditions. However, the kids really enjoy the games, the happy meals, and the toys that come along with McDonald's, and it provides for a friendly atmosphere. My favorite thing in McDonald's is a hamburger, specifically the Magnifico. I usually have it with fries and a soda. <laughs> McDonald's is a place to eat when you want to eat quickly. The food is rich, but it's not healthy. However, the atmosphere is calm, clean, and of good quality. It has a nice feeling in McDonald's. In this family-oriented culture, there are cajitas felices for the kids and the magnifica for adults. The magnifica is a play on the Spanish word magnifica, meaning magnificent or wonderful. What is so magnificent about it is that it contains kebab meat. Now that we've researched McDonald's on three continents, let's see what Trisha and Sarah have to say to sum it all up. First, McDonald's abroad seems to have more of a positive connotation than in the States 
which could be due to high quality standards. Second, McDonald's tries to adapt to the different cultures by placing names with their menu items and blending it structurally into its surroundings. Third, they provide dessert items that are special to each country, like dulce de leche in Argentina. Fourth and finally, McDonald's is not only cheap, easy, and quick, but also welcoming because of, of its familiarity for all around the world. It's not a city without a McDonald's in it. Have a wonderful day and put a smile on.